Got a Whirlpool Cabrio washer. We're gonna give it a good run. I've already run a few loads, but I'm gonna get this one on film so you can see just how good it runs. And uh, I've got a full load of clothes, personal clothes, and some towels and stuff. And I don't typically recommend filling it quite that full. You want to leave about, I think they say about an inch and a half to two inches of silver exposed. It helps uh, the load run a little faster, it's a little more efficient. But for the purpose of testing, we're going to uh, fill it up full and go ahead and run it. And then we'll watch it go through its cycles and everything, and I'll kind of come back for that. We're not going to do an hour-long video, but uh, just so you can kind of see the highlights and see that it does, in fact, work perfectly. Okay? Going through its first rinse cycle. It's drained all the water out, filled back up, but now it's draining again with a high spin. Sounds great. Doing an excellent job. So we'll move along to the spin cycle next. It's got an auto sensor so it'll even itself out and as it gets going that fast the tub kind of stabilizes itself. It's on four suspension rods that keep it balanced so it can spin as fast as it does. Which is extremely fast because it pretty much spins the clothes dry. So here in about three minutes, it'll be at its fastest spot. So we'll come back to that here in just a sec. Okay, and it's still going strong, going fast. Sounds great. It's not too shaky. It's not shaky at all. And here it goes. It's actually going to get going a little bit faster. I was reading about the uh, load capacity, and you're not supposed to fill it more than three fourths of the way full. Reason being, on the rinse cycle, this thing spins extremely fast, and it can actually throw water out the top if you have too many clothes in there. So, based off the picture I saw, I did put. I probably put three or four. Uh, garments too many which doesn't seem to be affecting it at all it's still running perfect but I just thought I'd throw that in there because at home when I do mine on a washer extremely similar I don't put that that many clothes and the load actually goes faster the more water it spins out the faster it's gonna dry so There it is, that's its top speed. Sounds great. Everything is working perfect. Actually, I wanted to show one last thing. This slow just finished up. I'll grab these out of here and just... Yeah, these are, yep, spun very light. Very light, so when those go into the dryer, it's gonna save a ton of time on drying. Excellent. That's a nice heavy sweater and it is light. So one other thing I wanted to mention real quick with Because uh, a lot of people ask about the washers with the circuit board here You know is that more at a risk for those electronics to eventually go out and aren't they more expensive? One thing you can do like with any TV or computer or anything is you want to get yourself for 10 bucks a surge protector so you plug it in to your plug-in and it's just a little box with a couple outlets on it and it'll protect you and a lot of those things even come with a warranty where they'll protect up to so many thousands of dollars worth of stuff you plug into it and then you plug this washer into that box because the number one thing for all electronics whether it's you know something like this with a board on it or a TV or a computer is your power surges lightning strikes things like that are the reason these components will burn out or go out or something like that so uh, it's the first thing I got when I got my washer that's exactly like this one I went out and I bought that $10 box at Walmart plugged it in then I plugged my washer into that now I don't have to worry about it I have one on my TV and my computer as well and my phone's charged from one so it's really important it's super cheap uh, definitely recommend it but uh, when you get into everything is going the way of these electronics it's a good idea to protect it from 
power surges. So just thought I'd mention that. Otherwise, this one is good to go. We'll move on to the dryer. Thanks. Okay, working on the Cabrio dryer now. Went through, completely tore it down, uh, greased all the wheels, the bearings, the motor, everything, vacuumed it out, scrubbed it out. Very clean on the inside. Um, gonna do the outside, of course, very last, very last thing to do. Been running it for a couple minutes now. Uh, all the electronics, the board, everything works great. And what I'd like to show here is that the temperature on the inside. So outside temperature, hold on, let me switch that to, here we go. Outside temperature, about 64, about 64, 65. Go ahead and open this up. And oh, we're gonna shoot it right into that heating element tube there. You can see it's nice and hot. And of course, all the components checked out perfectly. It's got a nice light, super capacity on this. No problem with bigger blankets, bigger loads. I don't have much in there now, but um, so far so good. Working great. We're going to go ahead and get this one cleaned up. Do a little touch up here if it needs it. And it'll be good to go. Thanks.